Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you what is probably the best advice that I ever received from any one of my seniors. Now, I've already shared this story with many of my students here at KGP, IIT Kharagpur. So I thought that uh, since they were benefited, my students here, I'll also share this story with those outside KGP. This advice was immensely beneficial to me. It was immediately useful to me. So what is this story? To tell you the story, let me take you back to the year 2005. I've just finished my first year back then. I was, I just stepped into second year in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is my third semester, autumn semester going on. Probably it was sometime in uh, July or August. And uh, to give you the proper context, this was an immensely loaded semester. Loaded means extremely pressureful semester. So we had subjects at the same time simultaneously going on like fluid mechanics, dynamics, partial differential equations, transform calculus, mechanics of materials, uh, economics, workshop, which was like a hardcore lab. Uh, and on top of everything, uh, we also had uh, extra academic activity, the official extra academic activity, which was NCC for me. So we had all this uh, load going on uh, officially. And on top of that, this was the, th the third semester, we had just come to the senior halls uh, and the expectation was that we would be participating in various kinds of activities, uh, like extracurricular activities, uh, various sports, various cultural activities. So it was immensely loaded. Now, because I was kind of academically serious, I always had this notion of maintaining my grade point average and I was very worried like what is going to happen. So during one of the interactions with the seniors, I, I, I mentioned this that uh, how am I ever going to uh, cope up? So uh, this was of course a question in the minds of many of my friends also who were at least academically serious and those who are not academically serious also. The, how, how are you going to cope up? So. Uh, so it is, this, is, this is the context in which I, I came upon this advice. So uh, this senior, uh, he was, uh, so I was in second year, he was in third year. Uh, his name uh, is Nirmalya Sengupta. Okay, so I just, uh, so just starting this video five minutes before this, uh, I looked up uh, Nirmalya, where he is now. Uh, it turns out that he is one of the co-founders of a company called Interested.1. Uh, so they are... Uh, they are looking into uh, innovative ways of training uh, children, uh, children uh, including teenagers also. So some kind of after school activities and various innovative things. So that's interesting. Uh, so it's, it's actually particularly interesting because uh, he's doing this now and I got some kind of advice, some kind of academic advice from him back then. Now, what was the advice? So to really understand the importance of this, you have to, uh, you have to understand that we have uh, in our campus, a lot of uh, extracurricular activities, and uh, there's something called the Technology Students Gymkhana, which is like the like the governing body for everything related to student activities. And there is uh, a, lo a lot of official posts which the students hold. Uh, these are extremely busy posts. Like all throughout the year, the students have to do a, a lot of work. Those who hold this post, and uh, Nirmalyada, Nirmalya Sengupta, he was. Uh, one of the general secretaries holding the post of uh, uh, the general secretary of social cultural activities uh, and this was extremely loaded okay so this is the overall context and uh, what he told me is as follows he said look jivan i am the gsec uh, general secretary of social cultural activities i don't have any time okay uh, forget so you so he's telling me that you are worried about uh, not being able to spend enough time on your studies. Look at me. So he's telling to me, look at me. I don't have time to stay in my room. Forget staying in my room and even relaxing. Forget studying. I don't even get time to sleep some days. So there have been actually stretches of time when he did not go without sleeping for two days at a time. So that was the kind of business that they had back then. And uh, he was also enormously responsible for the conduction of the Spring Fest, the, the annual cultural festival, which is actually held in the spring semester, but they have to do the bulk of the work during the autumn semester. So he was extremely busy. So he tells me that, look, I am I'm so busy. I don't have time to study. Like, I don't even have time to sleep. 
So when do I study? And please understand that uh, I, I know this that although he's not an academic superstar, but he 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 managed to maintain his grade point average to a to a respectable extent. Okay, so more than respectable ex extent, I would say. He told me, so how, how do I manage this? Okay, so what is this piece of advice? So he told me that uh, since I don't have any time to study, but when I go to class, okay, this is the piece of advice. When I go to class, I forget everything. I forget that I am the general secretary social cultural. I have these enormous responsibilities. I forget everything. I sweep my mind clean and I just focus in my class. And all the studying that I do in, entirely through the semester takes place as the teacher is teaching me in class during the lectures. There is no extra studying. He doesn't get time to come home and maybe he does the assignments just to keep up. Uh, but uh, like self-studying and concentrating in books, uh, none of that happens. So whatever he studies, whatever knowledge he imbibes, it is strictly, strictly, directly during the lectures as the professor is speaking. So that, that requires a certain level of focus and single-minded devotion. So he told me so that this is the key. Okay, you do not have to spend an enormous amount of time uh, coming back to your room and studying uh, all throughout the semester. If you can do that, that's great. Okay, if you have that luxury of time, I don't have that. So whatever I study, it, is, it takes place during the class. Okay. So he maintains this, like, like he, he used to maintain this regimen, okay, no matter whether he has, uh, he has, he has taken an all-nighter, okay, he has put in an all-nighter, all-nighter means he has not slept all throughout the night, even, the, even then he would go to class, uh, doesn't matter what other activities is going on, he would not be unduly concerned with them during the lectures, okay, of course he would be concerned, I know that, but still he would, he would make it to class, but once in class he would just focus. So... I thought that if he can focus like that, let me also try. Okay, let me also try this. And I did try. Okay, I did not have his kind of like single-minded focus in class uh, to be able to manage just through that because I had to come back and study. And, and, and let's be honest, it is possible to maintain a respectable grade point average by that. It is not possible to get an excellent grade point average using that. Okay. But in order to get to the excellent grade point average, you actually have to focus in class. Okay, that is the first requirement. And I'm saying this because there are many first year students and second year students who maybe as a residue of their study habits from, from their pre-engineering uh, days, uh, they always have this thing that, okay, whatever the, the teacher is teaching in class, uh, I'll just go back to my room and study from the books and like whatever the study materials is. Uh, the effect is not really the same okay so particularly in our kind of semester system and I have said this multiple times in my various videos it is not always the same because here at least in the IITs the NITs the good engineering colleges what happens is that the teacher or the professor who is teaching he only says the question paper it's a very compact uh, very loaded semester so within that very limited time within the within the extreme constraints of it you have to make the best use of it and the first step towards that the absolute first step is the crux of the idea is that you have to absolutely focus in class okay there are, there may be maybe many of you in the first year second year who are slowly getting interested in extra academic activities but no matter what you do once you come to class forget everything okay and make the best use of class make like extract 100% out of your class. So that's it. And uh, uh, Nirmalyada, if you're watching this video, uh, thank you so much. I never got around to uh, thanking you because when I was young, I did not realize, although I followed your advice, I never realized the, the true value, the genuine value uh, and, the, and the preciousness of your advice. So now that I'm mature enough, I'm thanking you if you ever watch this video. Uh, and I hope you don't mind that I took your name uh, in giving this very useful suggestion to the, to the current students. All right. Thank you everyone very much and all the best.